Welcome everyone to my final Rainbow Cup of the month and also the weighted Rainbow Cup of the month. And first match I face Fikasu26 who has Slowbro, Meganium and Charizard. So I take Venusaur, Quagsire and Fortress. He has a Slowbro. Slowbro kills my Venusaur and Quagsire and depending on shields it can beat Azumarill and Lantern. So I'm wary of that Slowbro so I decide to lead with Venusaur because I, I thought he probably won't lead with Slowbro and it's Venusaur versus Meganium. I have a positive match. Now I knew he was going to switch to Charizard so I sludge bombed and insta switch to my Quagsire. Now I tried to piggyback with my Quagsire but I'm not sure I got the piggyback because he got his charge move fast. Yes I couldn't get the piggyback. Now Stone Edge is going to shield that or his Charizard is going to go down. I will get to the Stone Edge faster but he has charge move priority so I shield the Dragon Claw and launch the Stone Edge. He doesn't shield if he shielded oh he, he burned both of his shield. Now he has Meganium, I have, I'm leading with one shields, I have Venusaur and Fortress in the back, his Charizard is dead. Now Fortress has better matchups with his team because his Charizard is dead and nothing can hard counter Slowbro now. So I come with Slowbro and Venusaur already has a Sludge Bomb charged, now he earthquakes me and switches to his Quagsire and I insta switch to my Venusaur not letting him charge farm my fortress now instantly a frenzy plant and then it's just a race to sludge bomb now I shield the earthquake it it should probably KO me if it got hit now sludge bomb I sludge bomb it it would KO that Meganium yeah it's KO GG I take game number one. Now game number two I go with the same team just switching up the leads. I lead with Quagsire instead of Venusaur and he leads with Meganium. A really hard counter to my Quagsire so I instantly switch to my Venusaur and he switches to Charizard. Now the question may arrive that why did I switch to Venusaur and not Fortress? Well, if I switch to Fortress, he would just switch to his Zard and charge for my Fortress. And as I switched into Venusaur, even though he can charge my charge farm my Venusaur, but I can burn his shields with Sludge Bomb that puts him at a huge disadvantage. So. I wait out the switch timer a little bit and come in with my Quagsire. Now it's gonna be a blast burn. It is a blast burn. He will go straight for blast burns now. Uh, I lag a little bit and he gets to another blast burn. Now I, I was afraid that the second blast burn might have killed me. So I shield once and I try to charge from that Charizard. Now this might be another blast burn so I shielded and that was my mistake. I shouldn't have shielded right there and I accidentally pressed Stone Edge. I should have just farmed that Charizard up. Now I'm ready because he's going to switch to Meganium instantly and I swap to Fortress. He has Quagsire in the back. I'm really not in a good position. He's, he's leading with one shield and I have none. I really wasted that shield right there. I should have counted better. 
and his quack sire will just straight up stone edge me now i don't think he had earthquake on his quag he was probably running edge bomb set he was probably running an edge bomb set so he just went for straight stone edges now even if i get to my stone edge he will just shield and and really no way i can come back to the game he has a meganium in the back if I had one more shield, it might have been better. I'm still not sure. And I lost game number two. Now game number three, I take the same team and I again I lead with Venusaur. Because I thought that whatever he leads with, he won't lead with Charizard, which is a hard counter for Venusaur. And he leads with Slow Bro. I have to switch instantly to my fortress. His fortress, his slow bro is going to just chunk away my Venusaur and he switches to Zard. He's going to charge farm my fortress. I'm already at a disadvantage at the start of the at the start of game three. Now he shields, he's just going to farm, he's, he isn't going to throw any charge moves. Now he probably has one and one and maybe close to two blast burns ready i wait out the switch clock and i switch to quagsire here he will just blast burn me i decide not to shield i can tank almost two blast burns this might be a blast burn so i shield it is it would have killed my quagsire i think now i get to another stone edge and he shields the charizard this puts me at a great advantage in the game now he comes with a zoomeril and i don't waste any energy i just go for straight earthquake and instantly switch to venusaur remember i have one shield and he has Charizard and Slowbro in the back. Now I tank this Ice Beam, it hurts so much. I farm a little bit. And just before he got to another Ice Beam, I throw, I throw my Frenzy Plant. Because if I didn't do that, he would get to another Ice Beam and I would have to shield. Now he comes with slow bro, I farm that Azumarill, I go for straight frenzy plant and it one shot slow bro. Now Charizard one tap, my Venusaur dies and it's now it's just a race to who goes to Stone Edge and Dragon Claw first. It was a really hectic game and i go to stone edge first i think he over tapped there or i got cmp here and i take game number three really well played by faker 26 now second game i lost so and we face some technical difficulties so i will just cut to game number three with abir 17 dime and he has a really good team so I lead with, I take Fortress, Azumarill and Venusaur, he leads with Quagsire and, and I switch to Venusaur and I Sludge Bomb his Ivysaur. He tanks the Sludge Bomb, now he will get to his Sludge Bomb, I try to piggyback right here and I fail to do that, he gets to his Sludge Bomb, he has Charge Move Priority. Now Frenzy Plant at this health would KO so I go for Frenzy Plant and he blocks it. Now it's just a race. I could have gone for Frenzy Plant, I don't know why I went for Sludge Bomb. Both would have KO'd his Ivysaur and he decides to shield. Now I am at 2-0 shield advantage. Even though my Venusaur is down, I can just come with my Fortress and finish his Bulbasaur. 
he decides to use charge moves i don't shield anything i don't need to shield he can throw as many charge moves at my fortress as you want he gets two sludge bomb and power whip i tank everything now i wanted to bait out his nine tails so i'm ready i'm ready that he has nine tails in his back and he doesn't he doesn't bring nine deals in his team of three so i was really expecting a nine deals and he just comes up with his quack sir and he took fortress instead of nine deals so i go for straight earthquakes now i will get to another one i can i am up one shield i can just shield his heavy slam or rock tomb what is that it's a it's a heavy slam i can shield it it wouldn't have KO'd but still i decided to shield because i didn't know if he was running earthquake or rock tomb in the second movie and he has quaxer in the back If he brought nine tails, it would have been a really close game, but he decided to go with fortress that might have cost him the game. This this um, Venusaur and fortress combo is really risky, and it's really weak to fire. So this combo might have worked out in his favor if he had now second match i decide to go with the same team expecting his nine tails in the back because i thought he would have learned from his mistake from the first match and would have kept nine tails in his team of three now i face quagsar I try to piggyback right there with my Azumarill and his switches, his switches to Ivysaur and I decide to Ice Beam to burn his shields or KO his Ivysaur. He burns one shield and I instantly switch to my fortress. I can tank all power whips and sludge bombs all day long. My voice might sound a bit off. I am not really feeling really well. He goes for another power whip. I don't need to shield anything. I can just farm up his Ivysaur as much as I can. Even if he has nine tails in the back, my fortress would die to two fire spins. Or, yeah, it would die to two fire spins. So I don't even need to shield anything. And he can't farm my fortress. Now I I am expecting nine deals. I'm expecting nine deals. And he comes with fortress again. He didn't take nine deals, he took fortress in his team. And he decides to shield that. I'm up again, I'm up to zero shields. Now I get to another earthquake. And it's basically GG at this point. I have I have a Zoomeril and Venusaur in the back. I go for player off. Player off at this hill to put KO Ice Beam does basically nothing to Fortress. And he comes back with his Quag. I decide to shield. It's a Stone Edge. I don't know what his second move is. Earthquake would have hurt. Now I throw an Ice Beam. And I instantly switch to my Venusaur. I try to switch but he gets his charge move off. I don't shield the Stone Edge. Now I could have finished his Quaxar with my Azumarill but I wanted to end the match quickly. As quick as possible so I just switch to my Venusaur and I take game number 2. And game number three, I face Mythmaya, and he again he has a slow bro and nine tails. Slow bro can defeat my team, and I have to take fortress just to counter slow bro. 
so he catches me off guard here again with Venusaur and Quagsire lead I switch to Venusaur he switches to his nine tails I throw sludge bomb to bait out his shield or do heavy damage he tanks the first sludge bomb I would get to another sludge bomb but he decides to Psy Shock. He, he could have KO'd me here. Now I shielded here because I wanted to bait out his shield. I wanted to bait out his shield. That's why I do Frenzy Plant. And he shields. I bait it out. Now I don't get to another Frenzy Plant. All that energy went to waste basically. Now I'm counting. I'm counting for a solar beam. So I switch to Quagsire. And I don't shield because I know he doesn't have enough energy for a solar beam. If he had farmed my Venusaur, he would have enough shield, enough energy for a solar beam, but he decided to Psy Shock right there. Now he doesn't have a hard counter for my fortress, his nine tails is down. I I go earthquake. His Azumarill, we are both at one shields. I don't need to shield, it's gonna be an ice beam or player of it's gonna be an ice beam, ice beam's gonna do basically nothing to my fortress. Now here I don't shield either. I know it it's an ice beam and I can tank an ice beam and I decided to bait out his shield. I need to get rid of his shield. And I I do get rid of his shield. But I have a charged waxer in the back. I need to farm a little bit. I shield the ice beam. I could have taken that ice beam, it was neutral. I decided to farm a little more. And I do a stone edge. And I would have gotten to Earthquake, but he has a Venus he has a full health Venusaur with a frenzy plan charged and I just go down. He takes game number one. Really well played by Mitsumayo. Yeah, even though he had a disadvantage, he managed to come back. He managed to come back. Now, match number two. Again, I'm wary of slow, bro. I take the same team just with different leads, and I catch his Venusaur in the lead. I'm ready for his Azumarill. No, I'm sorry. I'm I'm ready for his Nine Tails. I'm ready for his Nine Tails, but he switches to Azumarill. I don't know why. And here, I just go for Venusaur. I shield his first Ice Beam, and I go straight Frenzy Plant. He needs to shield. Or it it wouldn't KO. I have got some. I got a little bit of energy left. I think he misstepped right there. Or he doesn't have a nine deals in his team of three, because I had Fortress and Venusaur, and he didn't take his nine deals. So I'm guessing here that he, that he probably doesn't have a nine deals. So I go for Sludge Bomb and he did have a nine deals in the back so I guess he misstepped there and made a mistake switching to Venusaur against my Venusaur. I think he panicked a little bit. Now he has nine tails with two shields but I can just kill him with bubble. I tanked the solar beam. I was counting. 
it was eight fire spins so i decided he would go for straight solar beams now even if he got enough another solar beam i would have won this match and i take match number two because of his mistake and match number three i go venusaur and he goes venusaur again mirror lead I'm trying to piggyback right here I shield drain his energy I managed to piggyback there and he uses his shield and I instantly switch to fortress and because I know that he's going to sludge bomb my Venusaur and I let that energy go to waste. So he has a Venusaur in the back but he doesn't have any energy to it. Now I will get to Rock Tomb first and burn his last shield. I needed to burn his last shield to take the game. And I burn his last shield. Now he has 9 tails with no shields. I wait out the switch clock and I come with a zoomer. I can kill that 9 tails with just bubble. Now I decide to shield because he had more than a solar beam charged and I knew he was going to go for solar beam because it was his final trump card. So I shield right there and my prediction was right. He, he dies to bubble. Now I have Ice Beam and Play Rough charged. He comes with Quaxer. I go for Ice Beam. And instantly switch to Venusaur with the Frenzy Plan charged. I basically one shot his Quaxer. And in the back he has his Venusaur left. I go for Sludge Bomb. He gets CMP. Now he is really low because of the Sludge Bomb. And I can finish him off with just Vine Whips. I don't need my Zoomero. And also I got my Frenzy Plant charged before he did. So I take game number 3. Now game number 4 with 54 cross 94. He has a really off, off meta pick here is Blossom. And I thought that he was baiting out my... He was baiting out my fire types. So I take Quag and that was a mistake. A huge mistake. Now Blossom loses to Venusaur in mirror. I sludge bomb his nine tails to burn his shield or do heavy damage. I do heavy damage. Now I get to another sludge bomb. He has to shield or his energy would go to waste. He shields there and he just farms my Venusaur up. Three more fire spins. Now I wait out the switch clock and I come with Quagsire and he decides to go for the solar beam. I shield it because I knew he was going for the solar beam. It, it was his final gambit and he has Blossom in the back. I shouldn't have thrown the Stone Age there. I could have just switched to my Zard, but I decide to throw my Stone Age. It was a huge mistake there. I don't need to shield anything from Blossom. He Leaf Blades. And in the back he has an Azumarill. If I kept my Quagsire charged, I might have 
gotten the game would have been close but now he has the advantage because i made a mistake of throwing my stone edge there i show another blast burn he's not going to do anything he's just going to farm my charizard up we are at one shields i have my quaxar has basically no energy left He decides to play rough. It would have KO'd me there. If I had energy, I would have thrown the energy there and tried to bait out his last shield. But he did play rough again and he take he takes match number one. It was really bad play by me. Now second match I decide to go with without Quagsire because he might bring his Blossom again and Azumarill doesn't lose to Leaf Blade as hard as Quagsire. So I take Azumarill instead of Quagsire here. And he goes with Blossom lead and I have Venusaur lead. Venusaur wins this matchup. I know he's going to sh switch. So I have my switch trade ready. So I saw he wasn't switching. So I tried to bait out his shield. And he tanks that. He tanks that sludge bomb. His Blossom is basically at one health one hp and i take it down now he's probably going to come up with nine tails i charge a little bit and switch to azumarill he's going to switch again to another azumarill mirror he doesn't have blossom so he doesn't have a hard counter for my azumarill and i try to piggyback here i need to shift the cmp and overcharge a little bit. I managed to get a successful piggyback off here. He has to, we both have two shields. I try to piggyback again, so I'm not throwing anything. I shield here. And I go for another player off. I think I managed to piggyback there. I'm not really sure. Yes, I managed to piggyback right there. I have one extra bubble. Now I get to play her first because of the piggyback and the extra energy I got out, out of it. And he's at red HP. And I don't shield his player off. I don't need to shield his player off, it won't KO. And I get to another player off. Now he's either going to shield or he's going to let his Azumarill die. He decides to shield. That was his Achilles heel there. I know he has an Ice Beam and player off charged. So I come with Charizard because nothing will KO my Charizard at this health unless it's a Hydro Pump and he doesn't have Hydro Pump, he has Ice Beam. Now I come with my Charizard, I farm a little bit and he has 9 deals in the back. With Psy Shock ready, I decide to shield that Psy Shock and I go for straight Blast Burn. I get to blast burn first blast burn won't ko nine tails at this health remember nine tails is tankier than charizard so blast burn won't do as much damage to nine tails as it does to zard i let my charizard died i have frenzy plant and sludge bomb ready in my back i knew that and i take game number two his mistake was shielding that Azumarill. If he didn't shield there, the game might have turned to his favor instead of mine. So game number three, last match of the last round. 
and will tempt straight here and he switches his blossom to ivy so he learned from his mistake because he knew that blossom would have terrible matchups against my venusaur so he takes ivy sword which is almost as it's basically a venusaur versus venusaur mirror just that his ivy sword doesn't have frenzy pen other than that it's basically the same now a sludge bomb and here I, I try to switch instantly to my Charizard and save energy on my Venusaur and he goes for Sludge Bomb it does a lot of damage to my Charizard now he has a Zoomerill even though he can farm my Charizard he won't get to farm it as much that's why I tanked that Sludge Bomb if I shielded that Sludge Bomb he would have just farmed out my full health Charizard and have two almost three ice beams ready here I wait on the switch clock and come straight with frenzy plant no questions asked now he shields the frenzy plant he's at zero shields I decide to shield his ice beam he doesn't have as much energy there for another ice beam. I get to Frenzy Plant first because I overcharge in my lead. I get to Frenzy Plant and waste all his energy. My Venusaur is basically at full health. One, one fourth health. Now I charge a little bit. I charge and throw a sludge bomb. He doesn't have any shield, neither do I. Now here he is just charging up, charging up. He's done eight fire spins and I know, I know it's gonna be a solar beam. I'm ready to tank a solar beam and I tank a solar beam to the face. I don't need to shield anything. I Azumarill is just that good. There was a full solar beam. And I go for a straight ice beam. Basically one shot his Ivysaur and I take game number three. It really well played by 54 cross 94 and i place fourth in my weighted rainbow cup i'm really happy with my results and the cup was fantastic the event was fantastic i faced some technical issues in my second match and i lost my second match after facing some technical difficulties but I'm not salty about it I go 4 and 1 in my tournament and Paragon 0 Duo Dao places first unbeaten 5 matches win and Random IV and Woeful Hawk places above me and I'm at 4 really happy with my result and the environment and all so this was my rainbow cup I got I finally got to challenger after this cup I couldn't be any more happier in our cup all players played so well so well like even this guy Farham Fahim I'm sorry Fahim he it was his first tournament and he places fifth beside me it was his first tournament so all players are good everyone you you should you can't underestimate anyone at this point in this cup and I'm really happy to have faced such good opponents in my cup I'm really not feeling really well so my voice might seem down and my audio might seem a bit out of sync. I'm sorry for that. But I hope to do better in the future. Thanks everyone. Thanks um, the organizers, my opponents, all players for attending. Thank you everyone. This is Bhuban signing out. Mm -hmm.